What's going on guys, Deadly Raven here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you probably the best spreadsheet that I've come across in terms of tracking your progress in old school RuneScape. So without further ado, let me pull it up right here. What you wanna do right off the bat is you wanna to go to twitter.com slash ironhunter. The link to this will be down below in the description box, and you wanna click the first thing that's pinned, and that's his achievement spreadsheet. So once you click it, it's gonna open up um, in just in a viewable format in his um, Google Drive. And then what you want to do from here is after taking a nice good look at it quickly, you want to click file, make a copy, and then I'll show you guys how to adjust it once you have it saved. Perfect. So once we have that saved, I'll just go ahead and open mine. It's going to look like this. I changed the color theme to a bit darker and I made all the letters white because I do prefer a bit of a darker theme, but you're free to do what you want with the colors. What you want to do is you want to punch your name up in the top and it's going to get you all your stats right away. And then you have your achievement diaries on the first page. As you go along completing them, what you want to do is you want to change the color of every single one as you get them. So that, wait, that's the wrong color. And if you want, you can also play around with it and make it like uh, the ones that you want to get are going to be in red or et cetera, and et cetera. Change it back here. What's also really nifty about this is you have an item goals tab where you can click and put exactly what you want to achieve on your account. These are things that short and long-term goals that I have that I'm going to be working on and I'll update it accordingly. Next up, well, there's a lot of pages to this, so we'll just go through it quickly. We have a boss log, and it goes through every single boss in the game in old school and all the possible drops that you can get from them, including their pets and every rare item. So for Gardor, we have all the Bandos pieces. For uh, the Z Zami boss, we have Staff of the Dead, the rings from the Dagonoth Kings, Willowdy bosses, Abyssal Demons, Barrow pieces. I think this looks really cool. Uh, Dragon Warhammer, etc., etc. Um, then we have, we can also track how many of each item you've gotten if you want to if you want to be that kind of person. You have a Slayer log of all the Slayer monsters and all rare drops that they can give you. This is very useful for Iron Man if you decide to look back and it'll tell you which monster has what drop you might need. Uh, pet tracker of everything and then all the easy, medium, hard, and elite clues rewards. And sorry, and also master. We have the God books, all the God pages. We have all the possible mini game rewards, and all I have so far is just the full graceful outfit. Uh, play your own house, things you can put in your house. Blue scroll item requirements, impling tracker, and there's a couple more pages which I have invisible, which is hide me and high scores. What those do is you can, when you download the full version, you can make them private if you want. It's just some extra images that you can use to customize the template further. Hope this helped some of you guys out today. And if you have any questions in terms of the spreadsheet or RuneScape in general, leave them in the comment box below and make sure you leave a like and hit that subscribe button. We have a lot more videos coming out and the next one being Iron Man episode two, Road to Max. Stay tuned for that and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.